Hello and welcome to another episode of What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. It's me, your homegirl, LaDosha Wright, the author of What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon, Curly Hair Adventures, and a hairstylist here at the Reverend Design Team Hair Salon located in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. And you have just tuned in to part two of What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon about fine hair. Remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you really, really like all the other videos and this video, hit that little bell and subscribe to my channel. So let's jump right back into part two. Um, so what we're going to do is talk about her questions she had in the previous video about her dry scalp, the thinning that she thought she was experiencing, and her best friend is sitting over in the audience, and she had a question about growing hair. And so here's the thing we want you to understand about dry scalp. So number one, dry scalp more than likely is associated with dehydration. So if you're not drinking a lot of water, your skin is the largest organ of your body. So guess what? It's going to tell on you and it's going to say, you know what? She ain't drinking enough water and so I'm going to become dry. But for those of you who are drinking enough water and you are still experiencing dryness, the other culprit could be the weather. Now the weather itself doesn't necessarily make the skin dry, but what happens is from putting your hat on and off also your hair is climatizing it's adjusting to your environment so today in this salon the temperature is a nestled you know maybe 74 degrees but when you walk outside it's a frothy like 35 degrees so as you go in and out of your environment the skin is climatizing it's adjusting it's going from shrinking to expanding shrinking to expanding and by the time you're done by the end of the day of going in and out of your car in and out of your store your office your home by the time you get to bed at night the scalp will appear dry so that is how the weather affects the scalp the third culprit could be medications and the actual condition of the scalp where it actually scales. As a licensed cosmetologist, I am not licensed to diagnose anything that's going on with the scalp. So if I do look at her scalp and I saw something that really alerted me for her to go to her doctor for clarification, then as a licensed professional, I would not play doctor over her head and start telling her things like, you have dandruff, you have eczema. Licensed cosmetologists are not licensed to diagnose any type of hair, dis I mean scalp disorder or scalp diseases of the scalp, I'm sorry. Um, but we can prognose, so we can make a good guess, but that's not good as a diagnosis. Diagnosis. So those could be the top three to four culprits as to why her, her scalp was dry. Um, the other issue about thinning hair. So what they don't tell you at the hair salon is that thinning hair is a part of aging. And what happens as your hair thins is here's my, my favorite homeboy my scale okay so as your hair thins the mouth so this is the follicle and so the mouth of the follicle where the hair actually grows out of it actually shrinks and so that miniaturization the the hair takes on the size of that follicle and then the hair will become thin that's a natural aging progression for all human beings so some people it can happen at 18. Some people it starts to happen at 81, but it's gonna happen, okay? All right, so um, you can't stop it, but what you can do is slow it down, you know what I'm saying? So you can slow this process down, number one, by doing what my book, What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon, promotes is use the right products, the right tools, and the right techniques. And if you're watching this video and like she just keep talking about that book, where can I get that book? If you want to buy my book, both of them, you can go to lrightbooks.com. It's also available on Amazon. It's also available on all your ebook platforms, including Kindle, iBook, and um, Nook, okay? So then you can also upload that book if you don't want to buy it, okay? So there there you have it when it uh, when it we're talking.
talking about um, dryness, thinning, um, so that's just a natural progression. The best way to slow it down is to use the right products, the right tools, and the right techniques. In her instance, the right uh, products are volumizing products. The right technique is to shampoo her hair once to twice a week. The longer you go without shampooing your hair, I promise every human being watching this video, you are going to speed up the aging process. Now, shampoo isn't the only way to cleanse your hair. It's the most popular way, but it isn't the only way. You could use essential oils. You could also use an astringent or mouthwash. So, preferably just Listerine. Why? Because they are all antifungal fighting agents, okay? So if you're like, well, I ain't about to just shampoo my hair, I just spent all this money. Or maybe you broke your arm and you can't. Maybe you have physical limitations, your range of motion doesn't allow you to constantly, you know, scrub your scalp. So your essential oils and your mouthwash will suffice. All you have to do is, um, Put some in a little spray bottle, we call it an atomizer. And what you're going to do is um, take your product and you're going to, hold your head back for me, and you're going to apply it at the scalp. So you go throughout the, the actual entire.